several decades ago, and the convictions range anywhere from assault and battery on a police officer to arson to simple drug possession. Some never even had to serve jail time. During his time as a firefighter. For Less than six months on the job and Governor Maura Healey recommending seven pardons. It's a rare move, but she says it's the right thing to do. This to me is a no brainer. Um, so, you know, people may credit us for, for early action on this. To me, uh, it just goes back to justice delayed as justice denied. The governor says the parole board had sent the request to Governor Charlie Baker before he left office. None of the seven are behind bars. Two still live in Massachusetts, Terrence Williams and Glendon King. It's been a long time. I'm coming. I've, I've had paperwork in for quite a while. King is an army veteran who works for Boston Fire. He's retiring soon and has plans to move to Florida and work in security. In the early 90s, he was convicted of drug possession. It's just the fact that that label didn't sit too well with me because I'm not a bad person. I just made a bad judgment. 39 years ago, I'm a, I was 14 years old. 14 and I've been fighting. I've been fighting this on every administration. Decades ago, Williams was found delinquent on charges of assaulting a friend who never pressed charges. He works for Boston Water and Sewer and now can pursue a career in security. Governors shouldn't wait. If you see something that needs to be done, be corrected because other people out here need that opportunity. The governor also looking to change guidelines for commutations. She didn't say how often she'd be recommending pardons in the future. Whenever justice requires it. Now, these recommendations now go to the governor's council for final approval. We're live here at the State House, Charmin Scetti, WCVB News Center 5.